I asked you guys to send in your watch collections. Let's see what you've got. So the first one we've got is from Andrew. He's got a 10 watch collection to show you guys. He has every model replicated from Rolex in the Tudor brand, starting at the left. We've got the root beer steel and rose gold 40 mil. We've got the discontinued, I'll tell you what, no, it's Kermit, is that, isn't it? He's got the discontinued Kermit, really nice watch. The Meteorite white gold GMT, unbelievable watch. Very rare as well. He's also got the Oyster Bracelet Pepsi, and then he's got the white gold blueberry. He's got a lot of heavy hitting pieces there, and he's replicated it underneath with the Tudor brand. Yeah, so he's definitely got the like for like in the Tudor and obviously the Rolex range. I think it's really smart collection that. But honestly, when I was dipping in that collection to put a watch on, I would go on the top level, not the bottom level. I see why you've done it. I think it looks really cool. And for me, that is a serious watch guy. So the next one's in from Andy. Thanks for sending it in, Andy. We've got a Wimbledon date just yellow gold 41 millimeters. We've also got a Batgirl on the Jubilee GMT blue and black. We've also got a Milgauss with the black matte dial and obviously the green glass. This guy, when I look at his collection, he's definitely a watch guy. I would say the Milgauss has been his daily, which is probably his first watch he's bought. I'd say then he's probably added the Batgirl at some point to it and then the Wimbledon later. The Wimbledon will be worn more evening and weekends. The Batgirl obviously is one that he'll wear on occasions as well and the Milgauss will be his daily. What I think you could add to your collection, Andy, if you're looking for your next purchase, is a GMT Master Pepsi, extremely hot watch in the market, would complement your Batgirl as well. Definitely be a nice addition. You're obviously a bracelet guy. You're within sort of threshold of around about the 15 to 17,000 pound for a Pepsi. Be a nice addition. Lovely watch to complement your collection and look really nice on your watch roll. So this is in from James. Five watches in his collection. We'll start from the left-hand side. So we've got the Dages 36, looks like a black dial. We've got the Hulk, the 40 mil discontinued. We've got the Yachtmaster 40 Rhodium. We've got the discontinued GMT 40 mil. And we've also got the yellow gold GMT discontinued as well. He's probably, James, if you're watching, you've been probably buying for at least 10 years plus, I would say. I'm gonna imagine that the day just was your first watch, then the Hulk, then you've bought the GMT, then the Rhodium Yachtmaster, and then the Yellow Gold. I think you've got a really nice variety there. You've obviously started at 36, which was the trend back then. The full-size gents was 36 mil. It's now a minimum of 40 plus. I do notice that you don't have anything on the Oyster Flex range, obviously a bracelet guy. What could you add to that collection? Honestly, you like the old school, so you've got the old GMT both stainless steel and yellow gold. I think go for like the new version, the new gr and R. I think you would absolutely love that watch, especially something on the evening or weekend. I think it's a really nice collection, a nice variety. I'm sure you daily all your steels and I'm sure you wear your gold one. I'm probably guessing the 36 mil you actually don't wear anymore. So the next collection's in from Paul in his lovely Louis Vuitton watch roll or watch case. He has three watches starting on the left. We've got the unbelievable Submariner No Date, what a great daily that is. We've got the unbelievable ghost, our best-selling Oyster Flex by far. Definitely a stealthy guy. And then we've got the Lionel Messi AP on the right, the rose gold version chronograph. He definitely knows his watches. This particular client, he definitely has done his research. He's chose some very, very nice pieces, very popular as well. And I imagine he literally dailies the sub every day of the week. Daytona, evening, weekends, and special occasions is his AP. What could you add to your collection, Paul? I would say if you want to go the next level and add something, because obviously you've got three really nice watches there, maybe jump into the Patek Philippe market, maybe jump into the Aquanaut market on the rubber, or maybe jump into the Nautilus range on the bridge. Bracelet. I think it'd be a really nice sort of homage to your collection there. You really got some nice watches there. And I'm sure they give you a lot of pleasure. The next one we've got here is from Sam and he's again, lovely watch roll. Starting on the left, we've got the really nice white gold Daytona with the blue dial discontinued watch. Then we've got the Starbucks in the middle, 41 millimeter steel watch with the green bezel. Looks like a Mark one from the photo. We've got the extremely sought after Pepsi, one of your guys' favorites out there. And we've got quite an unusual one at the top. That's the Patek Philippe Calatrava. It looks a bit smaller. I probably estimate around about the 37 million size. It also looks almost like a white gold model. So I would imagine this particular client or this particular collector, but the Starbucks and the Pepsi is dailies. The white gold Daytona is a nice addition for a weekend watch. Value wise, got a nice little collection there. What could you add to that collection? Looking at what you actually like. I think this watch here would be a good addition. I think the white gold Submariner Blueberry. 
staying in line with sports professionals, similar to your other two, but that level up, obviously. You like the stealthy look, you're not a steel and gold guy, or certainly like a gold guy like I am. You know, you want that white gold look, so I think that'd be a really nice addition. Again, like your Daytona there, it is an underlist watch, and this one, again, is an underlist watch. So the next collection's in from Brian, thanks for sending it in. We've got three watches on this one, starting on the left. We've got the 18 karat rose gold, 40 millimeter root beer, really nice watch. Under list, but it's an extremely nice watch. In the middle, we've got a Submariner, steel and gold with a black dial. It looks kind of small from the photos, if I'm looking at it there. It might be the earlier discontinued 40 mil model from the photos, it might just be the angle. Then we've got the black ceramic Daytona. Really nice three watches there. Nice little selection, obviously you've got your daily, your evening, and your weekend. What could you add to that collection in my opinion? A bimetal root beer would be nice. 18 karat rose gold, 40 mil. Obviously you do like the steel and gold and you do like the look of gold. Again, it'd be a nod to your full gold one. I think that'd be a nice addition market price, 16 to 17,000. I also think like maybe in the stay in the Daytona range like a Panda, a steel white dial Panda Daytona. Again, decent money in the market, place at the minute so i think yeah one of those two make a nice little homage to your collection so the next collection is in from dominic and honestly when i first saw this collection i thought you're going to give my photographer joe a run for his money nice flat leg by the way dominic nice collection obviously you love the color green you've got the beautiful sprite on the left jubilee we're seeing less of those coming through so very popular watch at the minute beautiful 18 karat rose gold anniversary day day again big heavy hitting piece really really soft to watch then you've got on the right, is that the Hulk? Yeah, the Hulk 40 mil again, discontinued. One thing I will say, Dominic, is you know your watches. You know exactly what a watch should, is and should be. And I am guarantee you from that photo there, you will have many more watches than what you've shown in that photo. That is just your green selection. So congrats on that. What would I add to that? Maybe a yellow gold version of the day date, the anniversary. That'd be a nice addition. I'll probably have one squirreled away already. Or something more in like the sports professionals, maybe like the Pepsi, the blue and red Pepsi. That'd be a nice addition. But yeah, definite serious watch guy. And honestly, great photograph. So the next collection we've got in is a collection of four watches in his watch case. We've got the Pepsi, again, seeming really popular in the collections you guys are sending in on the Jubilee bracelet, blue and red bezel. We've got the Sundust Oyster Flakes, it looks like there. That's one with the, I think that's gonna be pre sort of 2020, 2021, because it's got what looks like the pinker colored Sundust dial. Then he's got also the Discontinued, because it's got the red chronograph hand, Paul Newman Oyster Flakes Daytona one of our favorites here, and then the unbelievable John Mayer. Again, heavy hitting piece. I'm sure this client here has been buying for a while. Hopefully did not buy at the peak of the market on the John Mayer and paid upwards of 100K. Realistically, that watch now can be bought for, you know, in the 50s or 60s. Definitely a heavy hitting guy. Really nice collection. Obviously loves the Daytonas like me. He's wearing them. They've got the hairlines, they've got the marks, and that is what the watch game is all about. What could you add to that collection? Personally, what will tickle your fancy? I honestly think it'd have to be a meteorite dial Daytona or a platinum Daytona. I'll tell you what I've got as well. This would be a good one for you. So I've got that one there, which is the baguette dial, Sunder style. That'd be a really nice addition in the same top set as what you've got there. Or, and that's got the new lighter color Sunders, by the way. Or I've got the meteorite. That'd be a nice addition as well. That's something I think that get your juices flowing just purely because it's a very special one. And obviously, you know your watches. The next one's in from Simon. When I saw this photo, honestly, I thought it's so cool. He's got the red beret, which obviously he's earned. Really nice collection here. So you've got the Tudor, the Breitling, and the Bremont. And they've all got the wings from the Parachute Regiment. I'd love to know the story behind these. I'd love to know the history behind these. I'm sure they've got stories and tales to tell. And it's so nice to see that you're so proud of your watches. They've got the wings on there. They're on your Red Beret. And that is super cool. Hope you enjoyed this video. YouTube thinks you should watch this video next. Mm -hmm.